650 and President Joe Biden's proposal on student loan forgiveness could ease the burden for millions of Americans. Eligible borrowers can have up to $10,000 of their debt wiped out. Amy Liu is in Washington. Well, Destiny, anyone who has received a Pell Grant, which is for students with the most financial need, could get as much as $20,000 forgiven. In order to qualify for that or the $10,000, you can't make more than $125,000 individually or $250,000 as a family. Current borrowers and dependent students will be eligible based on their parents' income. We also learned a newly proposed repayment plan would cap monthly payments to 5% of the borrower's discretionary income. That's down from 10%. You can sign up for all of this on studentaid.gov. Now, President Biden says the benefits will help 43 million Americans with student loans. People can start, finally crawl out from under that mountain of debt to get on top of their rent and their utilities. To finally think about buying a home or starting a family or starting a business. And President Biden said in his announcement yesterday that the federal student loan repayment plan will end this year. In Washington, I'm Amy Liu, WYFF News 4. And for the 17th month in a row, the national average for rent hit a new record, $1,879 a month. That's up more than 12% from a year ago. The South and Northeast have seen the largest increases, up 26% from last year. The city of Greenville is about to start paving some streets. It's partnered with Concert Engineering and Roadway Asset Services to survey the condition of city streets. The city then created a seven-year paving maintenance plan for roadways. We're told they will use $6 million from the Neighborhood Infrastructure Bond to cover the first two years of work. Funding for the program will return to $1.5 million per year for the following five years. To see if your street is included in the plan, you can head to WYFF4.com. At 652, South Carolina first responders and military personnel are taking part in an intensive helicopter rescue training. They're part of the South Carolina Helicopter Aquatic Rescue Team. Our Kylie Jones has a story. Program leaders say this is the biggest helicopter rescue training in the state. This training setting South Carolina apart from a lot of others around the country. South Carolina Helicopter Aquatic Rescue Team, or SC Heart, is made up of first responders from around South Carolina and members of the Army National Guard. This week-long training is happening across Greenville, Oconee, and Pickens counties. Leaders say South Carolina was one of the first states in the country to create a heart program with air rescue resources a lot of other states wouldn't otherwise have. They say the civilian rescuers have already gone through extra training to be part of a special state task force and then SC heart training. These pilots and their crew chiefs go through additional training to be on the, the rescue team, the helicopter aquatic rescue team or SC heart. Same thing with the, the civilian rescuers. These are all members of local fire departments that one step up their training to become part of the state's urban search and rescue team system. Um, and then step it up another notch to then become heart rescuers. State Fire Marshal Jonathan Jones says they're able to do rescue training on all types of terrain from high angle rescues to swift water rescues, flood water rescues and mountain rescues. He says their crews typically come in as a last resort situation. In Pickens County, Kylie Jones, WYFF News 4. California is expected to ban new gasoline car sales by 2035. Regulators will vote on the measure today. If it passes, it would be the first ban of its kind in the world. The vote comes after Governor Gavin Newsom signs an executive order in 2020 mandating that all vehicles sold in the state must be zero emissions by 2035. The state got a boost from the Biden administration, which earlier this year reinstated California's ability to set its own vehicle emission standards. At 654, this one's for kids and parents, too. This is a newsroom favorite. Bluey is coming to Greenville. She's the star of an Emmy Award winning children's television series, Bluey, on Disney Junior. Bluey's Big Play is coming to the Peace Center May 11th. The show is also coming to Columbia and North Charleston. For more details, head over to WYFF4.com.